Scoring well in 10th feels like standing on top of a mountain, arms wide open, ready to conquer the world until 11th hits like an avalanche, dragging you down into the abyss of integration, organic chemistry, and mechanics. The shift is brutal. In 10th, you could get by with a sharp memory and a little last minute revision. In 11th, good luck. The syllabus mutates into a three-headed beast where understanding concepts is just the start. You now need to apply them in ways your brain isn't wired for yet. The real horror show begins when JE enters the chat. Board exams want neat, structured answers with flowery explanations, while JEE wants you to solve a nightmare of a question in 30 seconds or perish. Coaching institutes preach speed, schools preach theory, and somewhere in between, students get stuck in academic limbo. Most start strong, then reality kicks in. Scores drop, confidence tanks, and stress skyrockets. Everyone's telling you to just study harder, as if that's some secret cheat code. Here's the real fix. Don't study harder, study smarter. The first mistake, treating 11th like an extension of 10th. It's not, it's a new game with new rules, and the biggest skill isn't just intelligence, it's adaptability. First, stop the I'll cover backlog later lie. It's a trap. Concepts build on each other, so let go of perfectionism and focus on moving forward. Second, balance is key. Don't let JEE prep sabotage boards. Use NCERT wisely, master concepts deeply, and practice recall instead of passive reading. Lastly, learn the art of stress management. No, not by scrolling reels at 2 a.m. Sleep well, eat right, and take breaks that don't involve existential crises. If you're in the middle of this storm, don't panic. The fall from 10th glory might feel crushing, but the climb back up is where the real growth happens. By 12th, everything starts clicking. And if you've played it right, you'll emerge battle-hardened, smarter, stronger, and ready to take on whatever comes next.